Hey guys, Heath with Refuge Medical here, and I am with my brother and good buddy, Cody from Sojourn Gear. He designs uh, many of our, he's, you've actually designed how many of our IFACs, the pouches at least? Quite a few, right? Quite a few of them, yep. even the very first uh, bear fact, right? Right, ground yeah. zero, baby. Ground zero, so he's the man, the myth, the legend, Cody. And the reason why I have you here, or maybe we're here in your facility, is because I wanted to show you this. It's a great piece of kit. It's called the APLS Emergency Blanket. All right, I'm excited. What's the deal? So what this is, is basically it is a ripstop nylon with uh, like a emergency blanket mylar adhered to the back of it. Okay. So my question for you is, when you open this up, what do you think you can do with it? Well, let's take a look, see. Are we able to open her up? Yeah. Okay. Well, it has oh, for God's these sakes. easy tears. So go ahead and tear it open. Okay. It's gotta be easily accessible, right? And that was easy. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool sticker here. I think we that's just that adhered later. to it. Okay. So what do we got here? Well, Boy, it's big. bigger than my blanket. I'd like one of these. There we go. Oh, heck yeah, look at that. So, tan on one side, shiny on the other side. Pretty nice size. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's in the specs. Um, yeah, I don't have the slightest idea. But pretty cool to have that kind of... That's awesome. Tan on that side and shiny on this side. I'm sure that kind of that shiny reflects some of your body heat back to you. Yeah. And the tan is just kind of nice and low profile. So. I'd love to see this and you know just a thought. Utilize this as you know maybe a shelter when you're out out in the wilderness and right. you 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 need a fire. You set this up as a shelter and it'll reflect all that heat back onto you. Okay. You know maybe or you just wrap up in it. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we uh, take this thing outside, see what we can figure out. Absolutely. So Cody, what are you planning on taking out there to use with the APLS blanket? Well, my Minuteman bag, of course. Just oh. a couple items. Pretty fancy. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's go. Hot dog. So we're out here in the backyard. Let's see if we can put this tarp to work. So maybe the number one thing and the most simple thing is you simply just wrap yourself, or in this case, wrap your, yourself and a, and a loved one oh, yeah. inside of this thing. Call it the buddy blanket. <laughs> and you can keep this, the silver on the inside if you want. That'll kind of help reflect that heat and keep you nice and cozy. How do you feel, Heath? Actually, nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> so you can wrap yourself like this. Um, another thing you may consider, I've, I've never slept like this, because I'm a little bit scared of tight spaces, but our friend, Pastor Joe Fox of Viking Preparedness, said that sometimes when they were out in the field and they were tired and they had to get some sleep and it was raining, they would simply wrap themselves like a burrito. Just like this. Pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, what else do you think we could use this for? You got any ideas, Heath? Well, I mean, yeah, it, I would like to note that this seems like a pretty sturdy material and I'm pulling on it pretty well. So I think, you know, if we utilized maybe a rock or a quarter in there and then tie some cordage around mm -hmm. it, it would actually support, mm -hmm. you know, so that's just like an initial idea that it actually seems pretty strong, not like your typical Mylar blanket would. Yeah, it's pretty robust. So it provides uh, just a layer of versatility that you otherwise wouldn't have in 
your standard Mylar blanket. Another thing that kind of stands out is we've got the sun off here to the west where it is the evening and naturally we've got reflection there so you can utilize that uh, maybe potentially for signaling. That's a good idea, I like that. Anything else? We could absolutely utilize this as a shelter. Yeah, we'll try that in a minute. While we got it on the ground here, just a thought, if you had some items that you wanted to secure or something like that, you could simply put some stuff in the middle. Oh yeah. And then wrap it up like this. And you could even tie a piece of cord around it just to keep a couple things maybe contained or dry. Use it maybe as a buddy sack or a stuff sack for, uh, you know. Yeah. Depending on your philosophy of use and your the, the situation that you maybe find yourself in. Rock and roll. Okay, we got, we did the burrito, we did the blanket, we did a little sack. Now I think we should string this puppy up. Yeah, let's do it. So on the corners, we don't have a grommet or a um, loop to tie to. So like Heath said, we could maybe put a little rock or something on the inside to help grab it onto. What we, we also might try is just tie a little tiny knot in each corner. So Heath, if you want to get yeah, those. Yeah, absolutely. You just take a little pinch and that may give us a little just something enough to for hang the cordage onto. to grab. So on each corner. And then if you happen to have a little bit of cordage, that oh, would be boy. handy. See if I can untangle it here. You know, you sure do seem prepared. <laughs> So just an idea is I have a little loop tied in the end here, as you can see, and then you can simply do a, everybody knows what a girth hitch is, right? You kind of just fold it back on itself like this. And then I, I'll bet you, I'll bet you that will grab and that'll be pretty strong. Oh boy. Let's see here. You'd either do something. So depending on how the wind was blowing and stuff like that, you could set it up in different ways. Absolutely. But let's just string it up kind of quick and dirty here. Sure. So I'm gonna, let me tie off mine. Go ahead. First, and then you can do whatever we need with yours. You seem to have plenty of cordage here. Nice. So you could just wrap it around a couple of times with a couple of half hitches. That'll hold it just fine. Yeah, cinch your puller taut. See if you can tie it off somehow. And then what you can do on the bottom, if you have something heavy enough to hold it down, you can just Find yourself a rock and tie it off to that. That way you can kind of move it a little bit or I'm sure you can figure something out. Something simple like that. There we go, he is, is rolling with his. Well, let's see what we got. <laughs> Come on in Heath. Oh boy. Can't wait. Now we're in for a good time. Yeah, just the two of us. Now we can at least get out of the rain. We could, of course, angle this and even put a fifth line in here to stabilize it more. Absolutely. And change the angle, depending on, you know, the rain and stuff like that. Yep. Now we could get out of the rain enough to start a little baby fire. We could heat up some tea and uh, talk about life. So that's kind of cool. Um, and of course, uh, you know, the idea of this being a Mylar blanket, this reflective material, this, well, it's actually two faceted because you kind of have the aspect of like a camouflage on the outside being a kind of a flat earth 
looking uh, material, but also you have the reflective material on the inside, which allows you the opportunity to catch the heat coming off the fire oh. and reflecting it back down on your back. Smart, I like it. Yep. Heck yeah. Anything else you can think of, Cody? Tent, burrito, sack. I'm sure there's more, um, but I think that's... You know what I can think of? What you got? Some food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and that's all we have for the APLS blanket. There's multiple uses that you can use it for. You can get it in the component section at refugemedical.com.